Welcome to the first lecture of the data cleaning and pre-processing module. In this lesson, we will tackle one of the most common issues in data cleaning which is nothing but missing data. Missing values can distort analysis and lead to incorrect conclusions so it's crucial to handle them effectively. The first step is to identify where missing values exist in the dataset. Let's load our Toyota sales dataset and check for missing values in each column. Keep in mind we have gone through this in the past as well. We just have to use isNull function followed by sum. It will give us the count of null values in each and every column. In this case, first let me run this to take care of data frame by name Toyota data. Now we should be able to preview the data by saying Toyota underscore data dot head. You can see the first five records. In the first five records itself, there are three records where commission percentage is null or there is no value in commission percentage column. Uh, to get the count of all these null values in each and every column, we should be able to use the data frame, invoke is null on top of it. Then you have to invoke sum. So is null will actually return true or false for each and every value if it exists and if not exists you can check here. You can see all falses wherever the value exists and wherever value doesn't exist it is written true. Now we should be able to use sum on top of it to count all those which have written true here. Now let me run this. When it comes to all the other columns than commission percentage there are no null values hence it is showing zero. Out of 5000 records, 1274 records have commission percentage as null or commission percentage doesn't exist in 1274 rows or records in the data frame. Here the is null function or method identifies missing values and sum gives the total number of nulls for each column. This helps us pinpoint where the issues are. Once we have identified missing values, we can decide how to handle them. For numerical columns, we might replace missing values with a default value such as zero. Let's replace missing values in commission percentage column. So in this case, I should be able to say Toyota data, then commission percentage equal to Toyota data, then commission percentage dot fill NA of zero. Here it is actually filling all null values in commission percentage to zero. Then it is getting assigned to the commission percentage column which means the existing values will be overridden with zeros when commission percentage doesn't exist. Now let's run this. To review whether it is working as per the expectations or not we should be able to use head on top of this again. Now you see Earlier these three we have seen as NIN or null values, now it is written zero. You can actually perform the count for null values against each and every column once again like this. So Toyota data then is null, then sum, you can see even with respect to commission percentage it have written zero. When it comes to the fill NA method, it allows us to fill missing values with a specified value. Here we replaced missing commission percentage with zero, assuming that a missing value indicates no commission percentage. In some cases, missing values indicate incomplete records that can be fixed. For instance, uh, again if commission percentage is missing, let's assume it, uh, these records are invalid records. In those scenarios, we may want to drop those rows entirely. In this case, we should be able to say Toyota underscore data equal to Toyota underscore data dot drop NA. Then subset is the keyword argument. When it comes to the subset, we are saying commission percentage. Now let me run this. You can see it have ran successfully. The uh, rows where commission percentage is null all those rows would have been deleted or dropped from the data frame. To validate we should be able to say Toyota underscore data dot shape. Originally we, we were having 5000 rows. Even now we have 5000 rows. Can you guess why we are still seeing 5000 rows? It's not because we have bug in our code. It is because we have already filled the null values in commission percentage with zeros. To ensure it is properly validated, let's make sure we copy this line of code. Here we are recreating Toyota data data frame. 
now before this code cell let me create a code cell then paste that piece of code now let's run this the toyota data is overwritten with new data you can review the data by saying toyota underscore data dot head you can see the first five records there are multiple records where commission percentage is null or commission percent doesn't exist now let's run this it will take care of dropping all those records from the data frame where commission percentage doesn't exist now you should be able to run this and see it have returned only 3726 records or 3726 records which means the remaining 1274 records are dropped because those many records have null values in commission percentage here the drop na method removes rows with missing values here we specify the subset parameter to focus on the commission percentage column this ensures we only remove rows where this critical field is missing when it comes to numerical data another option is to replace missing values with a statistical measure like the mean or median let's calculate the median commission percentage and use it to fill missing values in that column so in this case again i have to create this data frame let me copy then paste now again the data frame is overwritten toyota data have all 5000 records with 1274 plus records where commission percentage is null now we should be able to say median commission equal to toyota data then commission percentage then dot median now let me run this let's check the median value it is nothing but three percent in this case it is in decimals now we should be able to fill commission percentage where it is missing with this value the way you can do this is like this you can say toyota underscore data then commission percentage equal to toyota data then commission percentage dot fill na then median commission earlier we have filled with zero now we are filling it with median commission uh, before running this uh, let me preview the data here you can see there are a lot of records where commission percentage is null or doesn't exist now let me run this uh, it is successfully run let's preview the data once again you can see wherever the commission percentage doesn't exist or null it is replaced with the median value which is nothing but 0 0.03 using the median is useful when replacing missing values in columns with numerical data it ensures the replacement values represents the typical data distribution to recap here are the key techniques for handling missing data we can identify missing values using is null method and sum method sum is used to get the count of null values in fields in data frame we should be able to replace missing values with a default value using fill na method you can also drop rows with the missing critical data using drop na method you can also replace missing values with statistical measures like the mean or median I hope you have practiced all the scenarios which are covered as part of this lecture. In case if you want to practice more, we'll come up with exercises. You can come up with the solutions for the exercises and see if you are able to solve the similar pro uh, problems which are very realistic in nature. In most of the projects where data analysis is involved, you have to take care of these type of actions using the methods which are covered in this lecture.